Hello trumpet players, here we are. We're going to be working today in our books, Essential Elements for Band, uh, page seven. We're gonna work on number 22 and number 25. Then we're gonna go to page eight and work on number 27 and number 31. So first thing is number 22, split decision. It's a duet, so it has an A line and a B line. We're gonna play just the A line, <clears throat> just the A line first and then just the B line. Before we do though, Look up at the top of the page. Notice there's a whole note for four beats, right? So when you see the hollow note without a stick, that's a whole note for four beats. Then it also shows you a whole rest, which means a whole measure of silent beats. In this case, there's four beats in each measure, so four beats of silence. So when you see a whole note, you'll play ba, right? When you see a whole rest, you'll play nothing. You'll be silent for four beats. Make sure during that four beats you're counting the beats and then you're also looking ahead at what's coming next after the rest because you're going to have to play again after the rest. On the right hand side of the page at the top of page seven it shows you the difference between a whole rest which is the four count rest that we just talked about and the half rest which was back over on page six. You need to remember the half notes and the half rests which are two counts so you can see the difference there. Okay number 22 split decision. Uh, we're going to do the A line. It starts with the four quarter notes on C. Now, if you don't remember how to read your notes, these are the same five notes that we have at the top of page six in the notes in review. We're going to go, it's like playing the notes in review backwards from the lowest note up to the highest. C, and then D, and then E, and then F, and then G, right? And then the ending comes back down with E, D, and C. So first, point at each note and say the name of the note. C, 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 D, E, 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 F, G, 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 G. Now we rest for four counts, and then E, E, D, D, C. Right, during the rest for four counts, you could say rest, two, three, four, or you could say Okay, so 22, line A. If you need to pause the video and stop and go figure out the notes and say them more slowly, do that now. Then come back and see if you can play it with me. I'm going to play it slowly. Ready? 22A. One, two, three. sure you only breathe where there's a breath mark. Remember that comma over the top of the music, over the top of the staff? That's where you breathe, only at the breath mark or the rest. So the first eight counts, right, you have four notes that are each one count, and then you have a four count whole note. So that's eight counts. You're supposed to do all in one breath, keep the air going, and just start each note with your tongue, but never stop the air during that eight counts. Then line B, you, you notice that the breath marks are in different places now. Line B, you start with a four count whole note, then you have a breath mark, then you have quarter notes and another whole note. So look at the notes for line B. We're going to say them now. Ready? C, then breathe, then D, 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 E, F, 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 rest, two, three, four, then same note, F, F, F. F, E, breathe, D, C, yeah, you want to try to only breathe where there's a breath mark, unless if you really are running out of air, you can sneak one really quick and try not to let anybody know. Okay, 22, line B, again, if you want to stop the video and practice it slowly a few times, that's fine, and then you can try to play it with me, okay? Line 20, uh, line B on number 22, split decision, line B, one, two, long note first,
notice the breath marks feel a little awkward on 22 line B. The reason they put the breath marks there is that they're trying to get you to breathe at a different time than the people that are on line A. So each group breathes at different times and we don't all breathe at the same time. And it makes the whole thing feel smoother and more continuous and more solid to the audience that way. Okay, now going on to number 25, lightly row. Okay, so we'll point to the notes on lightly row and we'll say the notes. If you want to do the fingers while you say it, that's extra good. It's tricky. If you can do it, you should do it, okay? So here we go, starting on G, ready? G, E, E, F, D, D, C, D, E, F, G, 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 E, E, F, D, D, C, E, G, G, C. Second line. D, 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 E, F, E, 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 F, G, G, E, E, F, D, D, C, E, G, G, C. Now, again, I realize I might be going faster than you're able to go to say the notes. So stop the video and point to each note and say it slowly, as slowly as you need to go. Okay, and practice doing the fingers. G, E, E. Again, you also, if you're singing this, your voice might be not as deep as mine because you're a kid and you haven't, you know, you're not a teenager yet. Your voice hasn't changed yet. Um, so you might need to sing at a higher pitch. You might have to go at an octave higher. You might have to sing. G, E, E, F, D, D. That's actually what the notes are going to sound like coming out of your trumpet. Okay, let's play it. I'll play it slowly. See if you can play it with me. If you're not ready to play the whole thing yet, just do one part until you get it, and then do the next part. Okay? Here's Lightly Row. I'm going to try to play it all the way through without stopping. I'm going to only breathe at the breath mark. Ready, here we go. So that's number 25, Lightly Row. Again, if I'm going too fast for you, just practice each part until you get it, and then you can try practicing it with me another day. Okay, turn the page to page eight. At the top of the page is a number 27 reaching higher. There's a new note, note A. We played, the last song started on G, right? G, open G. This one's one note higher. A. So it should sound like that. You have to make your lips firm here. Blow the air fast. You can think the inside of your mouth. Remember, for a high note, you think T. For a low note, you think Ta or To. And then T is a high note. So that should be this A should sound like that. It's like E, one and two, but it's a higher pitch. It's like a higher pitch uh, note that uses the same fingers as E. Just like C is a low note that's open and G is a high note that's open. E is a medium note that's one and two. A is a high note that's one and two. Okay, so try that A. Make sure you're blowing the air all the way, not into your trumpet, all the way through your trumpet, all the way across the room, right? You're buzzing it with your lips while you press one and two. If you want to, you could try doing starting on a low note and then medium note and then higher note. Remember like we did with open C and open G, and then you could go up to the high C if you really have been practicing. 
open. We're gonna go low, high, higher. All right, with no vowels. You can do the same thing with this, with vowels one and two down, you can go low, high, or low, medium, higher. That last note I played is the A, number 27. Now, if you want to play the song, you can learn the song here. You don't have to. It has two count half notes, right, that are ho hollow with the stick, but you're starting on this note, F. And then G. And then the new note, A. Now, I'll play it for you. If you want to play it with me, you can, but you don't have to. Here goes 27, high, reaching higher. Here's what the song sounds like. that last note I actually held it longer than four counts because it has a fermata over it at the top of the page it says fermata means you hold the note longer than usual and when there's a conductor you hold that last note or wherever the note where that has a fermata you hold that note as long as the conductor has their arms out and then when they give you the release or the cutoff that's when you stop but now let's get to number 31 Mozart melody you're gonna use that note a in it do you see where it is not the first measure the first measure has this open C and the open G the second measure has that high A. So you're going to start on the low C. Two times, right? And then... Right? What Mozart melody is it? It's a version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And uh, you'll see if you read the part up above there, the history, um, he wrote more than 600 compositions during his short life, Mozart did, including a piano piece based on the famous song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And he took this melody, this is the basic melody, but he did all these different versions of it that are called variations. Variations on the theme of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. He was famous for having done these great different versions of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But this is a basic version. Number 31, so it sounds just like you expect it to. Uh, we'll start on the open C and then go to the open G and then the high A. Ready, say the notes and point. C, C, G, G, A, A, G, F, F, D, D, sorry, F, F, E, E, D, D, C. Everybody makes mistakes. If you make a mistake, you just go back and fix it. And also, I forgot, I should be singing actually in the higher octave where you guys are going to be singing. You should sing like C, C. Okay, so let's start over. Sing the notes. Ready? C, C, G, G, A, A, G, F, F, E, E, D, D, C, G, G, F, F, E, E, D, G, G, F, F, E, E, D, C, C, G, G, And again, remember, if I'm going a little faster than you can go right now when you're pointing at the notes, just pause the video and point and say it really slowly, okay? It's important that you recognize the notes and remember their names, right? Okay, 31 Mozart Melody, I'm gonna play it this time. You can listen to me to hear how it sounds, or you can try to play it with me, or you can practice, pause the video, practice a little first, and then try to see if you can play it with me. Ready? Starting on the low C, and then the G, and then going to the new note A, one and two high. Ready? One, two, three.
right? So that's Mozart Melody number 31. Keep practicing. If you can't get it up to speed yet, don't worry, it's fine. We have a few weeks before our concert, but I still need you to practice at least half an hour a week and make sure it's best if you can practice every day. Practice five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. That's the best. Okay, um, keep working on it. You guys are doing great. We're gonna have a great concert. See you later, bye.